Yes, I actually am homeless. The title is not clickbait. This is actually where I am right now. I cut my hand at work today. If you can't tell already by the sea of maroon in the montage I just gave you, fucking random montage, I know. Right now they just kicked off at the Grizz Stadium. It is the first home game of the season, so there are a lot of people here. It's really loud. I am quite a ways away from the stadium and you can still hear them. They're just screaming. So yes guys, I am homeless. The title is not clickbait. I, um, that is actually the status of me right now. But before I get into how I became this way or why, I think I should start at the beginning. The very beginning. So a few years ago, I decided I wanted to become a college student. Wait. Let's, uh, hmm, let's go back. Hey guys, it's Alice, and it is the present, and currently I am sitting in a dark room. I am currently sitting in the Missoula College Library upstairs in the little study room that's kind of secluded that everyone seems to not know is here. I come here twice a week because I have one class on this campus. So I tried to make this video twice before. Once, four weeks ago tomorrow, the day I made a decision and the day I moved out of my dorm room. The second time, three weeks ago, the day after tomorrow, during the uh, University of Montana's first home game, which is what all of that footage was from. <laughs> I was there just taking time lapses because I wanted to talk about this. Those videos ended up being too long and I didn't have the ability to edit them in the first place. So I'm going to just go ahead and tell you as briefly as possible what happened. So in my last video, I told you that I had four options. I don't remember what they all were off the top of my head. They were that I could move into an apartment. I could get a private loan. I could stay at a friend's house and I don't remember what the other one was. The next day after I posted that video, I was actually given another option and I ended up taking it immediately. And that was that I actually pack up my stuff, get rid of everything that is not absolutely important for this semester, and move into the homeless shelter. And that's what I did. I only have in my car all of the things that I need for the semester, including a costume because the Festival of the Dead's gonna be coming up again. My school stuff, my clothing, my uh, backup toiletries, so like boxes of toothpaste and mouthwash and stuff. You know how all that works. So four weeks ago, I packed up my stuff, drove half of it to R. Lee because I didn't wanna get rid of it. To me, those things are important to me, like my nail polish, you guys know how I like to do my nails, and my beading stuff, all of my art stuff. Those are the things that I took to Arlene, things that I'm probably not gonna be using this semester, and I figured that if I was staying at a homeless shelter where they wake us up at 6 a.m. every day, I'm not gonna have time to do my nails. I might have time, but I won't have a place to. So I just haven't really been doing my nails. These are just me testing colors in the store because I wanted to get a bottle of nail polish. So I moved into the homeless shelter, and it wasn't so bad. Basically, you don't really live there. You check in every night, they make sure you're there, and if you're there consistently, you get a bed in the dorm, and if you're there every single night, you can keep your bed. Let's lights out at 10 p.m., and you have to be out of bed at 7 a.m. Well, you have to be out of the dorm at 7 a.m. 
So I was there for a solid three weeks. The Sunday before this last Sunday, um, my mentor, whom I've mentioned in many of my videos, told me that she believed that it would be a good idea for me to stay with her. And so for three weeks I was at the Pavarello Center in Missoula. It's where people go if they don't have anywhere else to live. And I was going to school and now I'm staying at her house, which is incredible. Um, it's very nice. She has dogs and I'm much safer. My things are less likely to get stolen and I'll be able to sleep uh, longer if I really need to. The reason I chose to move into the Pavarella Center is because with the other options I had, a couple of them pointed to not being able to continue to be a student and the other ones pointed to going into more debt and I was not willing to not be a student this semester. I have to take these classes, I have to pass them. It's extremely important to me. My financial aid did not come through and I will not qualify again unless I pass every class I take this entire semester. My, uh, my actual option was to be a student and pass my classes. That's it. That's what's important. So I decided that it was okay to become homeless for a time and I was homeless for three weeks, which is not bad. It's not that long. And now I'm staying with my mentor slash best friend in the whole world. She's been my best friend for a while. It's been very nice. So that's the shortest version of the story I could come up with. In my other videos I explained a lot of detail that was really unnecessary and uh, maybe I'll go into it another time having to do with the financial aid system and why things turn out the way they did, but this is what I've got for today, so I'm sorry about that. Hopefully my future videos from now on will not be as depressing as this one. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. I'm having a pretty good one. I got enough sleep last night, so... Johnny!